In the last lecture, we learned that an expression is the grouping of an operator together with its operands. In this lecture, we're going to go deeper into the idea of expression and also how we find the value of an expression, which is called evaluation. To do that, we're going to use a tool called the circle of evaluation. The idea is simple. The circle acts as a kind of computer that finds the value of the expression that's written inside of it. In this case, we have an expression 3 written inside the circle. So the value here is 3. This one's very simple with a very simple expression. If we have a more complex expression, then we see we have 3 plus 4 plus 5 here. Our operator is the plus sign, and our operands are the 3, the 4, and the 5. So the value here that's computed is 12, the sum of 3, 4, and 5. Our next example causes us some problems, though, because here we have two operators, a plus and an asterisk, which we use to indicate multiplication. So here we have an ambiguity. What do we do first, and what operator do the operands belong to? For example, do we add the 3 and 4 and then multiply by 5, or do we multiply the 4 times the 5 and then add to the 3? What do we do? In order to resolve the ambiguity, we have to have a circle for each operator so that we can tell exactly what happens first and which operands belong to which operator. So we redraw our circle like this. Here we put the operator up near the top of the circle and draw a line to separate the operator from its operands. And we do that for each operator. So here it's easy to see that the very first thing we want to do is multiply the 4 times the 5. The, we, the inner circle is evaluated first. And then we add the result of that to 3. So this inner circle finds the value of 4 times 5, and the outer circle finds the sum of 3 plus the value of the other circle. So this is the circle of evaluation for the expression 3 plus 4 times 5. For some operators, like subtraction, order matters. For instance, 3 minus 4 is not the same as 4 minus 3. So to keep things unambiguous, we always place the number, the operands from left to right. So we know that here we have 3 minus 4. Now here's a scary looking circle of evaluation. But once we break it down, we can find it's actually very straightforward. First, we go to the innermost circle, and we find that we have an operator called square, and its operand is a. So this, the value of this circle is a squared. Similarly, this circle of evaluation is the square of b, so this circle computes b squared. And both of those are operands of the plus operator. So this circle computes a squared plus b squared. And all of that, in turn, is within a circle with the square root operator. So the whole circle is the circle of evaluation for the square root of a squared plus b squared. Take some time to study this example in detail and make sure you understand all the steps involved and why this circle of evaluation corresponds with the expression square root of a squared plus b squared. Once you do that, then you'll have all the basic ideas that you need for evaluating expressions.